Why you still doing all those things? I don't wanna brag in my stilo. More like only talking to my pilo. All right, hey, this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is a show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles, and today I'm really not. I don't think this is an instant noodle. This is uh, from a company called Jinding out of uh, Indonesia. This is Batagor Kwa Express. It's a popular variety in Bandung, uh, Indonesia. It comes with an included spoon. Well. Say anything? No. So, this is like, I believe, tofu skin with a mackerel broth. Kind of like bo box stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm really curious. Oh, wow. That is definitely tofu. Wow. I know, you're not supposed to eat it that way, right? Okay, here's all the stuffings. And I... It's really hard to tell with this packaging, but I think I add everything in, fill it to the line, and cover it for three minutes. And it looks really neat. I'm hoping I'm correct on this. This one is... That was chili powder. Now we got onion and celery. <clears throat> this one really kind of screams to me as being a topping, but let me look at it. No, that's not. That's going. And then we've got th this one. Wait, there's two of them, right? Uh-oh. I thought there was two of them. I did. Hmm. Here's the powder base. I'm really, really curious about this. This sounds, I'm, I'm like thoroughly fascinated. This one says it is uh, ketchup manis. So this, uh, this is like uh, sweet soy sauce. Although it's weird, it's it's the lightest sweet soy sauce I've ever seen. Maybe it's just the package. Yeah, look at that. Interesting. Well, we'll find out. This came by way of uh, Ferengi. She's one of the members of Section 42, which is the oversight group for the group Ramen Junkies on Facebook. If you haven't joined, join. You can share all your your wonderful pictures of instant noodles and such and ramen and uh, let people know what's up if you know what's up. So. It's free! For God's sake, it's free. Inflation has not hit Ramen Junkies, ladies and gentlemen. However, it could. So, don't allow indecision to cause future regret. Join Ramen Junkies now. And look, I found it. I knew there were two of them. So here we go. I knew there were two of these sachets. But this should be the same as the last one as well. So here, now it's going in. Wow, this is going to be a trip. I'm like very... I'm concerned with how rad this might be. Right. And I'm going to do this, this, this. And it's going to go for three minutes. Oh. Give it a stir. I want to make sure this is happy as a, a happy thing. I'm putting the lid on. And we're going to give it three. Fair 
shakes. Yeah. As for my meal tonight, I think I might have to go and uh, I know there's four burrito, frozen burritos in the freezer. I think that might be what's going on. It really might. Either that or I'm going to have soup. I'll probably have soup. We're going to inherit an air fryer. So I've been like watching these little, you know, those, those videos on Facebook and TikTok and everybody watches all these videos of cooking. I definitely do it, but you never cook any of it. You just go, wow, that sounds good. Wow. That sounds good. And, but, but you know, most likely if you try to do it, it's going to be like a Pinterest fail. There was one that I saw that is just like, this is either complete BS, like a Jamie Oliver or a, uh, what's his name, Gordon Ramsay short. It's either complete BS or it's uh, just really that easy. So basically you take an air, you take a little mold, right? You make some rice, like minute rice, instant rice, I think. And then you put it in the mold and you stick kimchi in the middle of it. Put a little more of the uh, rice on top, press it, pop it out. That might be where it just goes all bad. I think if you put it in the fridge, it'll turn more of into something like, uh, like kind of more of a close to akin to a rice cake or uh, lontong. So you you would pop that out and either brush it or spray it with like some kind of oil, and then you. Uh, put it in the air fryer and then the outside is slightly crisp and then it's like wonderful that sounds feasible I've had uh, crispy rice uh, what do they call it something crisp rice what is it a Chinese restaurant like crackling sizzling rice or something like that it's almost like the rice kind of gets puffed like a cereal good so I don't know if that's what happened but they were showing it but just just literally slightly seasoned rice with kimchi in the middle I'm like why not do like a little bit of curry make some nice curried rice you know dry curry and in the middle put a little piece of a cheese stick or just don't season the rice and put a little piece of a cheese stick string cheese that could be good I don't know but I think the options are pretty pretty wide and awesome and it's wonderful because of people who like gluten-free things or not like them but uh, have them as a necessity so whoa what the heck is this stuff this is weird It smells good. That looks weird. It looks like tofu puff. Whoa. Actually, you know what this looks like? It looks like fried chicken soup. What's that about? All right. Let's try this here. Definitely fried. Cheers. <laughs> well, not only. Wow. Oh, I would, if you had to give me a name for that, I would call it fried chicken soup. There's the broth. This is really good. Very spicy, sweet. Oh, wow. The little bit of heat, the, the, it's definitely a uh, chili powder pepper kind of heat. You can kind of see them floating around in there. And it just like smacks right into the back of your throat. And this is good. Really unique. <coughs> wow.
Wow. So it is kind of like tofu skin. Like. Oh, that is so freaking weird, folks. I'm I'm like jazzed. And there's another one of these, and it's called Quanky. C-U-A-N-K-I. And that one has dumplings. These are more like dumplings. Look at that. It's weird and it's good. This is this is like the kind of weird I really like to find in the uh, in the world of instant noodles. This was uh, in Australia. I don't know what the market is called, but I think Ferengi lives in Melbourne and. I think this was near the noodle aisle or on the noodle aisle, so I'll review it. I know the other one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know for a fact, at least I think, that it contains a noodle and, what is it, mackerel dumplings? I don't know. Egg. I don't know if dropping egg and spring onion is really like what anybody would do for this dish, but it's, and it would be nice if it, come on, work with me, come on, it'd be nice if it would work with me, but it doesn't want to work with me. Um, I put all my spring onion in there. I can put some sesame seed in there. This looks really bare, and I really wish it didn't look so so bare. I'll put a little bit of. Wow, that was not a little bit of. Okay. Scratch that. Don't try to sprinkle the sesame seeds that way. Well, that's a lot of seeds. And these eggs just are refusing to have anything to do with what I'm trying to get them to do. Don't go in the liquid. So I, I give up on that. But this is really neat. Wow. Company is called Jinding, spelled G-I-N-D-I-N-G. And this is Batagor, B A. -T T A G O R Kwa K U A H Express from Indonesia. Well, thank you very much for watching and enjoying everything that there is to be enjoyed. It's, uh, what? Wednesday. Yeah. The sun's coming out. No. Oh. All right. This has been Odds of Rominator. Wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Get some sleep. Bye-bye.